Oh. I was wondering when I get to see you. The infamous bright blade of Lozaria. Tell me, are you excited to see me here? In your torture chamber? Do you enjoy having me bound and tied down on my knees before you? Nothing to say? You aren't going to brag? Not going to gloat? Still not talking, hmm? How rude. Am I not worthy of your voice? Ah, and so you speak. What a shock. Here I was, beginning to think that I'd be tortured using the silent treatment. So your wit hasn't told any, I see. But no, I wouldn't have called that begging to hear you speak. Rather, I need you to communicate with me so we can hurry this process along and I can be free of your presence once again. Yes, yes, I'm well aware that I'm captured and not escaping anytime soon. But dealing with you is a brutal type of torture on its own. So I should like you to leave as soon as possible. What a shame. I hate for you to be around me for too long. It's a pain. Oh, what are you reaching for there? Did you bring me a gift? How sweet of you. What is that? Ale? <laughs> I didn't think that you were the type to drink on the job. Why would you have loved suffer and think of such a brutish act? Mead, then, if not ale. My question still stands. Well, if not some sort of alcohol, then what is it? A truth potion. <clears throat> I assume that you plan to make me drink that ridiculous... thought that you would have learned to play dirty. But here we are. I'd almost be proud if the circumstances were different. I can't say that I'm not flattered you think so highly of my strength that physical torture seems too weak. But given the situation, I think I'm not as flattered as I should be. Then I suppose I should ask... How long until this potion takes effect? I should think that the effects aren't immediate. Only a minute, then. And with a compulsion charm. Hells. You must have a powerful mage behind it, then. I hear these usually only begin to work after an hour. Your mind is as sharp as ever, though I hate to admit it. Wipe that grin off your face. You have no reason to look so smug when you have known my admiration of your mind since even before we went our separate ways. Don't flatter yourself so much. Just because I admire your wit doesn't mean I have anything else to admire you for. <laughs> of course I don't. How could I possibly admire you as a whole when I despise you for more than I praise you? Gods, but I hate you. There are, are no words in any language from now until the end of time that I could begin to explain how much I hate. <clears throat> <clears throat> but I've said enough. No need for me to continue on about emotions. 
After all, that's not why you're here, I'm sure. But that brings up about the question of what does bring you here, hmm? I'm sure you've come to interrogate me on something, so what is it? Well, if you're not sure that it's working, why don't you ask me a few questions to see if I answer truthfully? Yes, I suppose I could answer truthfully of my own will to pretend that it's working. But if that's the case, you could ask me questions that I wouldn't want to answer truthfully. The better swordsman between the two of us. <laughs> of course, that would be me. <coughs> <coughs> Fine, it's you. You're the better sportsman. <clears throat> Irrational fears. You of all people should know that I have no... <clears throat> all right, yes. I have a fear of mirrors being able to watch me. But you already knew that. There's no need to bring it up again if you already know. So, you are asking me to tell you who the first person that I told you that I loved was. The first person who I ever told you that I loved was the blacksmith apprentice. We were still young. I think I had only joined the waywards a few months prior. And we were passing through the village on our way to a bigger kingdom that had hired us. I remember thinking of how beautiful they looked when the first glow illuminated them. And I spoke of them to you that night. I was the first person that I've ever told you that I loved. Well, it's not as if I can't lie. The potion works. As much as I... loathe to say so. Fine, then. Let's get on with it so we can be done with whatever business you have with me. No, I wasn't planning to make an attack on your kingdom. The only reason I was passing near the border of Lozoria was because I was attempting to travel to the Kraven Empire. There's been a marriage, and I was going to offer my well wishes to them. Though I also had plans to offer a trade negotiation that would ease the strain on our kingdoms as winter approaches. I offered the same deal to your sovereign, and I had decided to take a path closer to Lozoria to see if they were going to meet me near the kingdom's edge, as I suggested. I had planned to discuss the details of the agreement, but apparently your crown ruler, your crown ruler, decided to have me captured instead. Having to listen to their chatter this entire time has been a form of torture on its own. Hell's what? What did I say that got you so worked up all of a sudden? What do you mean? Who have I spoken to in general? In the past month? In my letters? Who have I spoken to in Lozoria? I still don't understand. Do you want to know everyone I've spoken to from your kingdom? Ever? The, the guards? As in the ones making sure I can't escape from this wretched room? The ones that taught me for being stupid enough to get caught. Why would I speak to the guards? About our past? What? Oh, <laughs> oh hells. Oh, hells. You're worried I told them. 
You're scared I told all the people of Lozaria about how their beloved ruler and executioner, the infamous twice-dead crown and bright blade of Lozaria, used to be mercenaries. Worse yet, how they used to be waywards who were aligned with the leader of an enemy kingdom. <laughs> None of them know, do they? No other soul in this kingdom has even the slightest idea that you, your beloved, and I were once wandering blades together, bound to each other by blood and oath. None of them know besides the same arrogant suffering. These people just assumed you were wandering heroes maybe even part of their own army, who overthrew their former tyrant and noble rose up to fill their place. Well, if your past is so source of shame, then why are you so worried about your people finding out? What? Nothing to say to that? Has the cat got your tongue? Or is it that you know I'm right? Oh, I know that you're loyal to Lozoria over the oaths you made to the Waywards and myself. But your people don't know that, do they? They don't know that you broke all those oaths for this kingdom and the twice-dead crown. Else, they probably don't even know about the Waywards disbanding. If anything, I bet that if they found out about who you both were, they would think you were planning to take down the kingdom from the inside. Imagine that. As a wayward, you protected Lozoria's people from the corrupt crown, but now, as the right hand of the ruler, you both will be killed should your people ever find out that you were part of that same band of mercenaries. How ironic. No good deed ever goes unpunished, as the saying goes. Perhaps it's karma then, for what you've done to me. Yes, I remember that once we were friends, but that was long ago. That may as well be several lifetimes apart from where we stand now. I chose my path, and you chose the path that opposed mine. Now that our paths have led to this, I would say we are far from friends. Whether I'd say we are enemies. You broke your vow and turned your back on me. I don't see how we could be anything besides enemies. I don't mean your oath to the waywards. I couldn't care less about what we pledged in their name. They've been long dissolved for years now. None of us are bound to them anymore. I was talking about our oath. Our vow to always stay beside each other. You told me that she would never leave my side. For years you told me that. And yet, the very moment the twice dead and I chose our different paths, after the disbanding, you chose to join them. You didn't even hesitate. Why not me? I ask why you didn't choose me. It's the question I've been wanting to ask you every day since you and I turned our backs on each other and left for lives that weren't aligned with each other's. I ask myself that every morning you chose them over me. 
after everything. You left at their side rather than mine. I just want to know why. I, I can't go on without knowing. There has to be a reason. And I need to know it. You trust them more than me? After all of it? After everything? You trust them more? Reckless? But I've always been reckless. You know that. I, I thought... I thought it was something you liked about me. I thought that you found it... charming. Why not? Why can't a ruler be both benevolent and reckless? It can't be impossible. My people don't think so. I've been good to my people, and they've lived good lives under my rule. Else they've thrift with me as the head of Kenkiris. I would never put my people's life in danger. I've only ever done my best to keep them safe. Of course I have. I do everything I can to keep them safe. I protect the people I care about. Yes, I always protect you, didn't I? Because, of course, protecting you was something I was honored to do, even if you didn't need it. I still protect you if I could. Why? Why? Because I still care about you. I mean, no, no, I didn't mean that. I don't care about you. <sighs> Yes, I, I said that I care about you. Why do you think I care about you? I've always had feelings for you. They've never left. I mean that I've always felt a certain way for you. I have since all those years ago. How could you possibly not know what I mean? I should think that, given the truth potion, you should be able to figure it out. You have a clever enough mind to understand these tangled words of mind. Surely you must at least have a clue. Well, think then, Bright Blade. What drives us as humans? What tempts us from beyond our grasp? What keeps us reaching out and grabbing for what we can't have? What has sent millions to war? Has caused the spill of blood and the loss of life? What makes the heart race and the mind wander? What makes us who we are? I suppose I can't blame you, can I? It's not as if you'd have any reason to suspect I'd have such emotions towards you. I don't know why it pains me that you can't see it. Love. It's love. I love you. I adore you to the point that it hurts to the core of my existence. My heart burns at each and every passing thought of you. My ears ring with the sound of your voice, even in my nightmares. Worse yet, in my dreams. The way your name is carved into my tongue haunts me. And each time I speak of you, it feels like if the wounds reopen, deeper than before. My body and mind are combined force in their love for you. 
and I can only fall beneath her strength. You are the sole person who is in possession of my heart. And there is no chance of reclaiming it. My heart is yours. It has been since the moment our lives became intertwined. And I doubt that anyone, myself included, could ever pull it free. I love you as metal loves the flame. No matter how cold I may be, you can melt me and burn me down until I'm neither sword nor crown. But, despite this power you have over me, I love you still. <laughs> Nothing to say. No response to the painful secret I've held so close to my chest for years now. That only makes sense, I suppose. After all, how could you have known? It's been years. How could you have possibly known that when I begged you to join me, to stay by my side, that it wasn't just for your skill? It was never for your blade, nor for your axe or arrow. It was for your mind and soul and heart. Did you truly never realize that? Of course not. I was a fool to think so. Leave me. Your torture has been successful. You've weakened my mind and heart. I will talk, but not to you. Send another in your place. More than one if you feel it necessary. This potion still has its hold, so send them before it expires. I'll tell them wherever they wish. I can still feel your eyes on me. I'll say it again. Leave. It's not as if I can't hide anything anymore. And there's no reason to. I'll tell them everything. No, no double meanings or tangled words. They shall receive the truth. And they will receive it in whole. Please, just leave me. My heart can't take this anymore. It's too much. With you looking at me like that, I just... Please. I beg of you. Anyone else.